Hello my friends. I'm going to be doing a swipe today, but first I'm going to show you some of the artwork I've done recently. Uh, many of you like to see what I do outside of the fluid art world. If you're not interested, feel free to fast forward. <laughs> Let's see. I had a commission to paint um, some humans, and this is the first one I've ever done of real people. I've painted people before, but not um, of specific people that I that I know. <laughs> and um, she was pleased. She said I captured their essence, so I'm happy with that. This was done in pastels. But I tell you, I much prefer doing pet portraits. And here is one that I did. I don't think I've shown you this before. Um, I think it was just about the sweetest little dog face I've ever painted. The background was a poured background. I may or may not have done a video on it, but I have done several uh, with the style. It's just a flip cup. Um, and just makes a really nice background, I think, for these little pet portraits. And then, at my gallery, my gallery, the gallery I belong to, I'm a member there, um, we're having a cat-themed show next month, so I did a few cats. This one is Pastel. Isn't that cute? I call it Pounce, a little kitten. And then I thought, well, I'll just keep going. Now, this one is done with um, colored pencil. Sweet. And one more with colored pencil. They kind of make a nice pair, I think. And then, still on the cat kick, I want the big cats. <laughs> and painted this leopard. This is in acrylics. Over, as you can see, a swiped pour. I, I added this to disguise an area I didn't like. And then, just yesterday, I finished this one. It's a big one. I think I need to zoom out. Now, this one, I may or may not have done a video on this background. Um, it was a Dutch pour that I ended up blowing out. And um, it had browns and golds and white in it, but it just was too similar to the colors I wanted to use for the tiger, so I just gave it a light wash of green. Pretty sure I used this chrome, it was either this chrome oxide green or sap green, I, I don't remember which green, but anyway, it changed the appearance nicely. I could still see all the wonderful effects, but it now uh, looks like a more natural background doesn't compete with a tiger. So there's that. Both of those are available if anybody's interested. Now, today's pour is going to be a swipe, and it's going to be a background for a commission of sorts that I have. And we want a real natural looking background leaf, I mean, natural colors, greens, and so forth. I'm going to be painting this clouded leopard. Look at the, the, uh, the fur on that. It's such an interesting 3D effect. Just a fascinating animal, a clouded leopard. So this is the reference photo I'm going to use, but it will be bigger, of course, on here. So what I'm pouring is just what's going to be seen back here. So... I have mixed up a bunch of greens. I'm using uh, the chrome oxide green, which is a wonderful color by Master's Touch. That's here. And then I mixed some, uh, well, I'll come back to that. Um, light olive green. And then again, this is the chrome oxide green with metallic black, because I wanted three nice shades of green. So that is this one again. A lot of black. Then I have for contrast I've got some yellow ochre and some burnt sienna or raw sienna. 
those are artist loft doesn't matter what what brands really then um, I mixed my main color is um, white with the chrome oxide green to come up with this kind of sage green and that's a really pretty color I'll have to remember that how nice that looks It'd be lovely in a background for a Dutch pour I think my swipe color is raw umber and metallic black so a dark dark brown and I added two drops of silicone to the swipe color only so let's get to it um, I'm going to be swiping this way and as I said this will be the, the background of the big cat. The cat will be here and down here. So I really don't care what goes on down here. That's what I mix the big the big uh, cup of green for. So I'm going to lay down my, my colors in stripes up here. The light green and then my swipe color there and just swipe all the way down. And here we go. Tilt that around a little bit to get nice smooth coverage, fill in all those gaps. Go over the sides, although uh, I'm not worried about the sides. I'll probably end up um, sponge painting them a nice earthy brown when I'm done. Okay. Oh no, I've zoomed out. Let me uh, get back to you. Uh, my gloves are always an issue. There we go. Okay. Now the swipe color. I have mixed the silicone in well. To swipe I have I want to make I want to do one big swipe so the only thing I had wide enough for this was paper towel so I've moistened it and now fingers crossed hope to get good contact across the whole thing and here we go I'll put the recipe I use down below if anybody's interested. The clouded leopard lives in, um, well, spends a lot of time in the trees in Asia, I believe. So we wanted a real leafy looking background. 
And I'm thinking if I stretch these cells out, it, it might look suitable. Oh, I kind of always hold, hold my breath when I'm doing that. Look at that. Hmm, this actually might be the top and that'll be the bottom. I'll let it dry and then and then figure it out, but I'm I'm thinking that will be the just the opposite of what I was thinking. So let me tilt this around a little bit, get some movement in there. Everything's moving, but the edge I want to move, but that's okay. I'm looking over here while I tilt. There we go. Now, Now I'm going to this other corner near me. And now, down that way, I got to get rid of that bright, bright green, although it would probably be covered up by uh, the painting, but I'm not sure. If it went all the way across, I wouldn't mind, but since it's only in that one area, I need to say goodbye to it. And there it goes. You just have to take your time with tilting. Make sure you have enough paint on there so you can keep tilting. That corner down there is a little problematic but not enough to make me worry about it. Okay, I'm going to leave it because I'm pretty pleased with the, the look I have, the rest of it here. Yeah, I think that is pretty much what I had in mind, and I hope, um, I hope my uh, client will be happy as well. I think I'll show this to her before I proceed. Make sure. And now let me bring you in for a closer look. That's what I wanted, real earthy looking. Although, gosh, it, when I get close to it, it brightens it up and uh, changes the color. What I'm seeing and what I'm showing you are two different things. It's much more green. I think when I pull out, you can see that it's much more green than what it appears when I bring you in for a close look. Anyway, there we go. Background for my next embellishment. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you next time.